All right, YouTube, this is a uh, 6.5 Grendel upper, complete upper from Joe Bob Outfitters, 20 inch uh, radical firearms build. Um, there's limited stuff on YouTube with the 6.5 Grendel right now, uh, how it comes in the box, I, I should say. Uh, mostly see if complete rifles. I wanted the 24 inch just to get everything I could out of the Grendel, but I'm actually just going to use it for a hunting rifle. And the 24 inch is almost impossible to catch in stock. So I kept looking at the sight and, and they had 20 inches in, in stock. So here it is out of the box. I already cut the tape and opened it. I actually have had it out of the box. I just put it back in. That's the receipt packing list. I'm not going to open that. But it's packed in the egg crate. There it is. This is the upper. Got the pepper brake on the end. So a pretty nice free floated uh, hand guard. There's your forward assist, your dust cover. See your charging handle. There's your rail on top. The brake has uh, got a spiral to it, the ports there. Here's the uh, other side. Got the, you can see the keyholes. Um, Picatinny on the end, just on the end for the bottom. Put your grip or bipod, whatever there. Keyholes further back. These um, louvers. There's your bolt in there. Yeah, I got one hand in this. There's your Grendel bolt. Well, bolt care group, complete bolt care group with your Grendel relieved uh, for the Grendel round. I understand those are 5.56. Five, bolt heads just been milled out for the Grendel round. It's got an M&P on it. I don't know if I can get that in focus or not. It's M&P right there. Well, uh, I mean, it needs to be a little bit of cleaning. I clean, you know, everybody should clean any new firearm. Uh, I didn't see any markings on the charging handle. Um, on the upper, you got the keyhole mark. I understand. Caro or somebody, something like that makes those. I'm kind of new to this AR-15 stuff. I, I got a Ruger AR-556 DI rifle. Then I'm going to use the uh, lower switch back and forth for hunting. Hunting, plinking, varmint. I'll use the 5.56 and all for the varmint. Take a look at the, see if you can see down in there. Maybe y'all know what the, uh, it's at the micro gas block or what. Woo, that's shiny. Look into your chamber there your feed ramps but there it is I mean I wanted a uh, I was looking at 762 by 51 or 308 rifles I was really liking that DPMS uh, G2 you know come it's just like a uh, M4 configuration weight everything but uh, I took a look at the Grendel round found out that you can find the ammunition easy and it's not as expensive as it was. Wolf for seven bucks and up. Uh, Hornady SSTs, 20 bucks. On up, I paid 24 for two boxes from them. I bought a box of A-Max and a box of a, uh, SST Hornady's from Joe Bob's also. But a uh, local, local gun shop, the Armory, they have it online. They have it in the store. I bought some Wolf, some PPU. I'm going to try them all out. I'll be having some range reports if I can figure out how to get this listed on, posted on YouTube. Come with this uh, little tube of gun lube also. This is one of my first videos too. There it is. Something 2000. Slip 2000. Gun lube. 
but here it is I'm a happy camper I just hope we get uh, complete functionality without any, any uh, distress I, I understand that these are uh, Sammy 6.5 Grendel chambers in these radical firearms so we'll hope for the best um, you guys have a good day and get on your Grendels like this uh, it's a wicked round it seems like I've I always liked the 6.5s I had a 6.5 Swedish Mauser I bought from Roses in the uh, early 90s and fell in love with it first time I pulled the trigger I still I got a couple of them around here now a couple of 38s uh, so I, you know, I understand you can throw these 6.5s up in the air and they'll just hit the target by themselves. But uh, yeah, <laughs> well, we'll find out. Yeah, I was gonna say this complete upper. The, if you can get a 24 inch, also they're both 4.99 for either one. So I settled for the 20. Like I said, I'm just gonna hunt with it and probably shoot at 300 yards at the most for what I do uh, and that would be 300 yards plank and I, I don't know if I'd shoot at a deer that far or not I bought a center point scope here I'm gonna try out it's got the illuminated reticle with the uh, little arrows on the crosshairs like a mill dot three by nine or I'm sorry, four by sixteen. I got that brand new too. We'll we'll be seeing how they do. Thank you for watching. Uh, hopefully, I'll get better at these videos later.